So now let's take a look at how to deal with files that you've recorded and wrapped in the MP4 wrapper instead of the MOV wrapper. Now when we open our SDHC card here, uh, the first thing you would want to do, of course, is copy all of your files to a hard drive. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, but we're going to look, we, here are our three folders, and as I mentioned before, when using the MOV wrapper, the MOV files are located inside the private folder, but the MP4 files are located inside the BPAV folder. So we're just going to open this up here, and now we see that we get these other files, and the CLPR, uh, or clip folder, is the one that we want. Go inside there. Now you'll see that you get a separate folder for every single clip. And if I just look at one of these, I go inside and I see the actual uh, stream file here that's wrapped. The thing is, if I double click on this, it says that I cannot open it. And that's because QuickTime doesn't understand um, XDCAM EX in an MP4 wrapper. I'll show you something at the end of this tutorial um, a little add-on that you can purchase so that it can understand the MP4. But for the moment, let's just uh, disregard that and go through the normal process of how to import this. Now, importing these MP4 wrapped files will only work in Final Cut Pro 6, uh, which is, of course, part of Final Cut Studio 2. There is, however, one extra plugin that you may need to download. And to do that, you just go to the JVC is it pro.jvc.com and then click on the HM100 section here and then go down to software downloads and here's the JVC Pro HD login transfer plugin version 1 so let's just download this just click continue and of course agree so just fill this all out and then say continue and it will download and it automatically mounts. Now you just double click, and say continue, continue, and now it installs. So just close that and you can close down all the other windows. We don't need them and now let's launch Final Cut Pro. So we're going to save our project first and I'm just going to put it on my desktop and name it HM100 MP4 demo and now we go to file and select log and transfer now the log and transfer window comes up and we have to tell Final Cut Pro log and transfer where the files are so we click Add Folder, and now we direct it to Untitled, which is our SDHC card. Click on the BPAV folder, and then the Clip folder, the CLPR folder. And then we say Open. Reads the card, and there we go. Here are all of our clips. So now we can go through our clips, and we can actually log them before we import them. So for example, um, on our reel, let's just call everything, all of these clips, we'll just say that our reel is cam1. So I just made a multiple selection and then clicked on reel and now they're all changed to cam1. And we can add columns here for in different information. When we check our preferences, we just scroll down, we can see the JVC Pro HD plugin here. And of course, it's set for native, which is the only option. And that means that all uh, Final Cut Pro Login Transfer is going to do is wrap these files into QuickTime. So let's just select a few to transfer. We could select the whole batch. I'm not going to. I'm just going to select a few of them here. Let's say these ones. And I'm just going to drag them down into our queue. And now it's, it begins. And this goes fairly quickly. And all of these files now are being copied off of the card, wrapped in QuickTime, and being written to your Capture Scratch. Wherever your Capture Scratch is set in your uh, system settings, 
uh, that's where you will find these files. And as this is happening, if we just look here in our bin, these files as they are wrapped are added directly into the bin here. So while this is going on, we can just hide this window and we can already start working with these clips. There we go. And if we just take a peek at these clips here and what the format is, if I just scroll along, so we'll see the frame sizes. So these happen to be 1920 by 1080. Uh, frame rates 23.98. And of course, our compressor used for the most part is XDCAM EX 1080p24. I've got a couple 720s in there. And they're all at 35 megabits per second. Now, I'm just going to drag the first clip into the sequence. And of course, because it's a blank sequence, and I had set the user preferences for editing to ask me what to do when I put the first clip into the sequence. Because I've done that, when I put the first clip in, it will then ask me if I want to set the setting to that same codec, frame rate, and size. And of course I do, yes. So now when my clip is in there, there is no rendering needed. So let's just throw all of these 1080p clips in there. There we go. Now we can begin editing immediately. Now I promised you that I would show you a simpler way to do this. Obviously that took some time. We had to go through the log and transfer process. Well, let's just go back to Safari and go to calibratedsoftware.com. Now calibratedsoftware.com has a great product, a new product, called Calibrated MP4 EX Import. So if we just click on that, um, it describes how the, uh, how the software works here. And you can download a demo of this. And now I can install it. So after Calibrated Software's MP4 EX is uh, installed, just restart your computer. So after the computer has restarted, we can uh, boot up Final Cut Pro. And while we're booting that up, let's just take a peek at our SDHC card. And uh, here we are, the BPAV folder and the CLPR folder. And here's all our clips. Now remember how last time when I went in here and double clicked on this MP4 file, QuickTime said, I don't understand what that is. Well, now that this new software is in here, the calibrated software, when I double click on it, now all QuickTime based programs, including QuickTime Player and the whole Final Cut Studio, they now understand MP4 files. So what happens if we just drag these into Final Cut Pro? So the same clip that I just opened in QuickTime, well, now I'm just going to drag it into Final Cut Pro. And there it is. It's now showing up as an MP4. Now I'm going to get this warning that it's not optimized for Final Cut. But that's fine because we actually know that it must be optimized because it's the exact same type of file. Um, the Calibrate software is just tricking Final Cut Pro and all of QuickTime into thinking that it's already wrapped into an MOV wrapper. And that's the basics of how it works. So this is a great cross-platform way to shoot. You can shoot an MP4 and have it work on the Windows side of things, no problem. But also you have the option to work very quickly, almost right away, in Final Cut Pro as well, just by dragging and dropping, much the way you would with the MOV format. So I'll just say do not warn again. So you can see here's the clip as an MP4. And if I scroll across here, I see that basically everything is exactly the same. It's still XDCAM EX codec, still the same bit rate. Everything's the same. So I look at my MP4 version here. I'll double click and look at my wrapped version that I did with the log and transfer. So obviously the uh, workflow is a lot faster if you install this software. Now if you want this software to play more than the first 30 seconds of every clip, then you will need to purchase it. But at the moment, the way the demo version works is it just limits you to the first 30 seconds of each clip.